brothers, my sisters. Uh, it's a, a, a moment for you, for us to think uh, how you can start to do discipleship. Because I'm talking about discipleship, I'm teaching about discipleship. But sometimes you say, but how can I do this? How can I start to do? And today I'd like to share with you uh, uh, some steps that certainly will help you to, to, to know how to obey the Great Commission doing discipleship. So, how can it be the simple way for you to start to do discipleship? If you go here in, in, in your YouTube channel, in the playlist, you're going to find several videos about discipleship. And in these videos, I, I, one of them, I, I'm really emphatic in the way that you need to obey the Great Commission. Uh, Matthew 28, from 18 to 20. Because the Great Commission say, says, make disciples of your own nation. But you stay thinking, how can I do this? So, the first thing that is so important, you have a strategy how to share your testimony about Jesus. Okay, normally uh, 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 I teach to my church, to my disciples here, how to do a simple testimony, but you have a hook in the hands. Because normally the people have some strategy how to give their testimony when they have, but they don't have the hook in their hands. So here I teach to my disciples and each member of our church that is important. You, 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 you follow three simple steps. You share how your life was uh, 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 before you know God's plan and purpose for your life what you are doing and feeling, how you got to know Jesus, how, what was the instrument, a person, a show that shared Jesus with you and uh, help you to enter in alliance and commitment with Jesus to repentance and exclusive dependence. Okay, this is the second step, how to share your testimony. And the third thing, how is your life now in God's plan and purpose? Okay, so the second, how you got alliance to repent exclusive dependence with Jesus, in Jesus, for you to enter God's plan and purpose. The second, how is now that you find this freedom to this spiritual marriage with Jesus? How you feel? What are you doing now? Okay, but in the end, always challenge to discipleship. Always. Always get a, 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 this, this, this moment that say, okay, you heard my testimony. You would like to get to know Jesus. You would like to wait in a process to get to know Jesus. Here, we have the seven encounter of Alliance of Life. We say, come to the seven encounter for you to see and feel Jesus working in your life. Okay, so it is important you have this hook in the end. Challenge people, okay? But uh, the second thing that is important is what I just mentioned. You need uh, this clear process for the people get to know Jesus inside of a discipleship. Make a decision to get to know Jesus is one thing. The most of the preachers and the church Think that everything finished here. You did the prayer to receive Jesus. Okay, looking for a church and be there. No, no, this is not gospel. Gospel, the gospel that Jesus was preaching always has the second step. Always have the, the process of discipleship. Always. Jesus as a master, a rabbi, as a didaskalos. Everybody knows that he was preaching people, preaching the gospel to people, for people come to follow him in discipleship. I understand. So here we have this seven, this seven uh, encounter of, of a life of life. We, when you finish preaching the gospel, you say, look, if you want, we start meeting once a week, half an hour, 40 minutes. Okay, think in three problems that you're having. 
eh, 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 or necessities or, or, or that you need to see God bring a miracle for you and come to discipleship. And if you come, keep coming every week to get to know Jesus in this ever encounter of alliance of life with this commitment, this alliance with Jesus, you're going to see and feel Jesus working in your life. Do you understand? So, it, 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 we call this consolidation process. This is the moment that the people uh, is born again. And no, you, you, don't, you don't have a baby that's just born and leave to, to the baby to change his diaper or, or get their food by themselves, right? They need a mature Christian helping them doing this consolidation process. The, the first 24 hours of a spiritual baby is so important. You need to call, pray, fast for this spiritual baby, baby. And be there in the first meeting. And, and be prepared to study a verse from the Bible uh, 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 to this spiritual baby. What is it will be these first verses of the Bible? John 3.3, 3, John 4.6, John 1.12. This, you can cheat the basic to this spiritual baby. Understand? Preparing them to go to, to understand how is is really important for them to be in this commitment with Jesus and, and, and go deep in this commitment with Jesus. Uh, 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 the third thing that is important in, in, in this when you start to do discipleship is understand that the discipleship is about connect heart to heart. You're not gonna go there to do something mechanic, robotic. Understand? You go there to deliver a, 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 a Bible study and pray and leave. No, the main, the main goal is you you establish a deep relationship, so deep that you connect your heart with your disciple heart. Do you understand? The spiritual baby, when they come, they come with a lot of problems. Sometimes they come possessed. Sometimes they come oppressed. Sometimes they come with alcohol abuse or drug abuse. Sometimes they have a marriage problem or, or they are broke in their financial life. You need to spend the time. Your spiritual baby needs to understand how you value them as a spiritual baby. How you value them as a, as a disciple. Why, why church in the United States don't preach about discipleship? Why so many pastors, uh, they don't teach about discipleship? Because they don't do. And, and they don't want to teach about something that they are not doing. Because discipleship gives... Uh, demand a lot of time from your schedule, from your personal life, until you see this disciple grow and get mature. And they enter in the fourth important thing about when, when you are doing disciple thing. The fourth thing is uh, you need to prepare, get to connect heart to heart, okay? In this process, the consolidation process that I said as point two, and and in this point four, you have to guide him to a, a cell church, to a life group. Certainly, why is logic a cell church? Because the duty for everybody making disciples of all nations is a duty that Jesus commanded in the Great Commission, Matthew 28, uh, as I said, right? So. Uh, 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 the, the, the second point in, in, in my ministration about how to start a discipleship, this third point that's connected heart to heart, automatically take you to the fourth point, that you take your disciple to a, a, a life group, a cell church. Why? Uh, uh, when I start to do discipleship here in Tampa, Florida, uh, we start to win people in a Bible study in Leto High School, okay? And we start to win these students and I start to do discipleship, personal discipleship. And I got another one. And I got their family. And, and so I didn't have time because 
I, I, I was at the same time building my company, my cleaning company. So my time was, uh, I had a couple spots in my schedule. So I take care of this, that one, that one, that one, discipleship. So it was logic. I start to put who was growing up. I put together in a, in a life group, in a cell church. Just then was logic because they are growing up. Now we can be together. Right? So I start the life group, a cell church in my house, which this disciple that were getting mature. The new ones, I st oh, oh, that one that wasn't growing up, okay, I was taking care personally, disciple one by one, um, trying to get connected heart to heart. I understand the, how is logic in the, in the process of this, the true discipleship, the final process, you open life groups. You hope sell church, small groups. When you are really focused in share your testimony, okay, with a hook, a hook in the end, you, you put these people in a process of discipleship that we call consolidation moment, okay? Here we have the seven counter of alliance of life. The third thing that connects your heart to heart, okay? It's not go there, do something mechanic, but really, this, your type to really see how you love them and, and you wanna see the dream of God come to their life. And you be natural, you walk in your own life group. Yeah, my brother and my sister, I, I hope this video help you to learn and to understand how to do, how we start to do discipleship, okay? God bless you in Jesus' name. And, and, and uh, uh, always we pray for the Holy Spirit taught in people's hearts that is really hungry to obey Jesus and have the true Christianity in discipleship. So subscribe our channel, okay? And, 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 and don't forget, when you subscribe our channel, activate the bell. Every time that you have a new video, you're going to receive this video. And share with someone, share with your pastor, leaders, that they are not doing discipleship in your church. Share this video and say, we need to start to obey Jesus, the great commission of Jesus that commands us to do discipleship of our nations. So, and, and, and uh, of course, like, like and comment. What, what is what is your thoughts about this? Do, do you think that something would be, uh, 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 could be, Improving in our process of discipleship? You have any idea how we are doing discipleship? How we start to do discipleship? Share with us your, your input. And maybe you'd like for me to, to, to approach another theme uh, about discipleship right here in, your, in the comments as well. Okay? God bless you in Jesus' name and see you in the, in the next video. Love you.